Long par threes are so hard and can be a card wrecker if we're absolutely honest. Long irons, long par threes, trouble, card wreckers. I'm gonna tell you today exactly how you can avoid these ruining your score. First off, we have to think about this logically. Let's not go through this and pick out the trouble. We've got to be clear in our intention. So number one, and the first rule, is let's not pick out the trouble. How often do you stand on the tee and you go to your playing partners and go, God, I put in that bunker last week. Oh, I don't like this hole. Always find this hole tough. I hear it all the time. You're talking yourself into playing those bad shots. And if you're one of those people, please do hit that thumbs up button. I know I would be one of them as well. I walk onto certain holes and I almost accept that they're gonna be hard for me. Let's rewrite the script, let's treat it as a new hole, and number, rule number one, don't pick out the trouble, pick out the objective of what you're gonna do. Okay, so the seventh here at Mottram Hall is a toughie, 190 yards to the flag. How do we go about this? How do we go about this? Most people were looking at five irons, four irons, or even rescues and three woods to get it to the green. Now, with the bunker short right, and it's a deep bunker, and we don't quite like bunkers on this channel, they're not nice. How can we go about this without getting unscathed? Now, with it being stroke index 40, most golfers are going to have shots on here. So my advice to you is, let's play this logic if you carry a rangefinder, let's do it, work through this process. Number one, let's laser the flag. Flag is at 184 yards, so towards the front of the screen today. Then let's take off 20 yards. Let's say that's towards the front of the green. Okay, I want you to think about how can you plot yourself down this hole without getting in trouble, like you would on a tough par four. Most people on a tough par four will accept that they're not gonna hit it in regulation. They're gonna use that shot to their advantage. I want you to do the same thing on all the tough par threes. If there's trouble short of the green, let's lay up and chip it on. So I'm gonna do this right here. If I went for this green, I'm bringing in so much danger, short siding it off to the right. Right, I'm gonna aim down the left, I'm gonna take my seven iron, lay it down the left, give me a nice easy chip up the green. So I'd work through my process, I would pick out a tree to the left, so I'm really nice and focused in on that, walk into the shot, focus everything down the left hand side, and really make sure I create a green that's away from the trouble in my head, almost like an imaginary green down the left. So right now, I'm more comfortable hitting an eight iron than I am a four iron. I'm more comfortable hitting a seven iron than I am a rescue. All these things, let's choose an easier club as point number two and pick our own imaginary green short of all the trouble to leave us a chip up the green. It's simple, it's easy. Let's head up here and talk about the rest of the mistakes that I know you make. Okay, so we've ended up short of the green. Pretty much exactly what I had envisaged in my head. And if you spin round here, here you can see why it's a smart move and this is something I think you should do too. Look how easy my chip is up the green. Imagine I had a back flag, how hard is it to get it close? Being accurate with a long iron or a rescue is really, really hard. We don't want to go in there, that is tough, this is a little bit easier. And I always think about it this way. On those hard holes, if you can always come off with scoring a point in a Stableford, you're never too far away. I think this is the best piece of advice we can all take going into next season. If it's a tough hole, we're playing a Stableford, let's make sure we come off with either two or one point at worst. We all know a blob is not good for a round of golf. So right now, going through my head, I've got an easier chip up the green. Yes, it's a little bit defensive, but I think this is a really smart play. Okay, stick around. Let me hit this chip up and we'll talk about the final one, which is a biggie by the way, absolute biggie. Ah, not the best chip, but we're on. Okay guys, if you are enjoying this content, just want to say a massive thank you for all your support. Daily tips here to help you improve your game. So if you've not already, please do hit that big red subscribe button. I really would appreciate it. And I make this content for you. So if you've ever got anything that's worry worrying you about your game, please do comment down below. So let's head up to the green. Okay, so you can really get a good picture walking up here, the reasons why we chose that. And there's definitely gonna be par threes at your golf course where you can adopt this same strategy. So the final one, now you can see it wasn't the best chip, but if I two put from there and I've got a shot on this hole, I'm coming off with worst, 
two points. Easy two points, steady away, tough hole, get out of the way, bank it, get onto the easier ones. It's definitely the way to go. Let me hit this put away. Right, a little bit left to right. Ah. Okay, so the final one on my list, and this is what I'd say, for all golfers, we're probably going to want to go for this green if we are a little bit lower handicap, and if we still got a shot on here, that's fine. But the key thing is right now, the amount of times I see this as a common amateur and club golfer mistake is not taking enough club. We always want to be that person in our group that hits the shortest club. I don't get what it is about it. If you go to European Tour, they're not bothered. If you hit the green, doesn't matter what club you hit. So it's all about taking enough club, making that smooth swing. So the final tip on my list for you today to not let these par threes become a card wrecker, swing easy to hit the green. Don't be the person who wants to smash it. There's no prizes for smashing it and being wild. Let's swing easy, go towards the green and take the club that you know you can comfortably get to the green. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to tune in at the same time tomorrow.